now. Okay. Oh, you see, yeah, teacher. Yeah. <laughs> oh my. I was like, what is going on? I was saying, hi, hello, and nobody answered me. I was like, they don't want to speak. <laughs> Good. How are you doing today? Fine. Fine. Ready for starting the week? Fine, teacher. Good. I ready. Nice. Yeah, you already started. <laughs> yeah. How are you doing, Fatima Imperatriz? Hi, teacher. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm fine. Great. What about Jorge Alexis? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing? Fine, teacher. Fine. Good. Yes, teacher. Hi, Anna. Thank you, teacher. I'm doing good. Good evening, yeah. teacher. Very good. good evening. A little bit tired because I have to get up early today. So I was like, oh, I don't want to get up. Yeah. What about you, Edwin? How are you doing? Oh. It was a um, hard day, but it's it's nice. It was nice. Yeah, <laughs> that's the attitude. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. What happens? What about you, Eugenia? How was your day? Oh, it was. Good. Yes. Good. Yes. Hi, Adriana Guadalupe and Fatima Virginia, Fatima Abigail and Astrid. But they're just 12. It is Monday and nobody wants to be in the meeting. <laughs> yeah, but thank you for being in the meeting and for being on time. Everything going with the platform. ¿Cómo van con la plataforma? Very nice. so good. I'm working. Mm. I am in four. Four lessons. Four. Oh, nice. Good job. Thank you for working hard. What about the other one? Como van los otros? In the middle, in the middle term exam. Oh, good. That's good. Okay. okay. So, good evening, everybody. We're going to start our class and thank you for having your cameras on and microphone off we're going to start and uh, thank you for the ones who are working on the platform and doing a good job thank you so much and i hope everybody continue working working hard because we need to work hard okay i'm gonna share my screen and uh, we're going to start. Yes, it's time already to start. Okay. Uh, who can help me reading the, the date? Raise your hand if you want to, if you would like to. 
Nobody? Monday, July 26, mm -hmm. 2021. 2021. Perfect. Today is Monday. July 26, 2021. You did it good. Good job. Yeah. Good job. So now we're going to um, learn about the past of B. And we're going to make questions and short answers. So you already have been like working on the platform and you know. Who knows? What is the past of the bird to be? Was, was, and was and where? Was and where? 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 And which is the present? I'm I are is I'm are is. Mm -hmm. That's the present. Perfect. Okay. And today, to start, because we haven't been here for one, two, three days, so you can ask, and we are going to use the questions, what did you do last weekend? And the other one, where did you go in case that you went somewhere? So this structure is present or past? Past. Past. So that means that the verbs, and when you answered, you are going to answer it in past. So we're going to use the past tense, which is the verb, the auxiliary verb, did. Last did. weekend. That means it is past. Where did you go? Did. Is it past? Okay, are you ready? I'm ready. Perfect, okay. Ready. Okay, what are the questions that you're going to ask? What did you do last week and where did you go? Okay, so to start, we are going to ask our classmates and know uh, what did they do during the weekend and, and um, where did they go if they if you went somewhere, if you stay home, that's perfect. Or you can ask uh, something different. Okay, ready? I'm going to send you to the breakup and gonna be, I think, three minutes or three to five minutes are good for the breakup room. So that's uh, um, quickly for you to ask them. Hmm. Okay, and we are, I think, gonna make 11 groups. Ready, set, go. Okay, I'm going to send someone to, yeah, and I'm going to send you, We have to. 
Okay. Hello, teacher. Hi. Uh, what did you do last weekend? What I did last weekend? Well, my last weekend, I was uh, watching a Korean drama <laughs> for what? the first time. <laughs> you were running? <laughs> No? What did you say? Can you repeat it again? Okay, I think I, I have problem with my audio. Mm -hmm. It's working very well. I see those, but I was watching a Korean drama. Oh, got it. For my... <laughs> oh, that's nice. Yeah, that keeps you busy. Good. What about the other one? Did you do Herbert? Okay, huh? What do you do on the last weekend? I went to visit my family in Metapan. Oh, wow. That's great. So, you went to a, a Washapan? <laughs> Metapan. Ah, Metapan, sorry. Yeah. No worries. I'm from Metapan, that's why. Yeah. Yeah, put it in the group and then you can continue. See you. Okay, thank you, teacher. See you, teacher. Bye. See you. Hi, teacher. Hello. How are you doing today? I so great. Good. How was your weekend? Well, on Friday, I went to play soccer with my friends. Uh, on Saturday, I visited my grandfather's. And on Sunday, I took a break. Wow, that's good. Yeah, you need a break. Yeah. Good. What did you do, Fatima? Did you already finish sharing? What did you do? Um, Saturday, I went to the beach. And mm. I'm right. the park. Good. Okay, see you. What did you do last weekend? Y tenemos que responderla. Sí. Um, um, weekend. I, puede decir, I, I, went, ¿qué fue lo que hizo? What did you do? Eh, ¿Qué fue lo que hizo? Uh -huh. um, fue donde la abuela, donde mi abuela. I went to visit my grandma. I went to visit my grandma. Good. Okay. I think I'm going to leave the meeting because we have to go back to the main room really soon. Okay. 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 Um, the other question, uh, where did you go? Where did you go? Did you go? Hi, Jesus. Hi, Jorge. How is 
forget that my microphone is off when I come back from the breakout room. I have to get used to. And hello to the ones who were not here. It is good to see more faces. And we have 15, so 17, that's good. <laughs> I hope you have a really good weekend. How was your weekend? It was busy, not too busy, relax. It was busy. Busy, yeah. Yes. On Saturday, I, I was <laughs> working. On, on the afternoon, I was painting my house. Wow. Yeah. Um, on Sunday, um, I rest at home. Yeah, that's a good idea to rest. <laughs> yes. Who wants to share? Thank you for sharing, Edwin. <laughs> Who else wants to share how was the weekend? How was your weekend? Adriana Guadalupe? Relax, teacher. Relax. It was relaxed. Good. Good. Who wants to share how was your weekend? Nobody else? I think you are being shy. Están tímidos ahora, no quieren hablar. Por eso los mando a break no. room para que hablen. Ok, good. Ok, we are good. going to go back to the... Uh, I'm going to share the screen and then we're going to continue with our class. Good, good, good. So this was what uh, did you do last weekend and where did you go? And now I want to tell you what I did on my weekend a little bit. And then said, what did you do last weekend? Let me tell you about my weekend. I watched. Oh, oh so <laughs> yeah, if it mining, why, why did it go so far away? No way. OK. And I want to. I want to use the mouse instead. Okay. I watched the soccer game, um, Qatar and El Salvador. Who watched the, the soccer game? Nadie miró el partido de la selecta con, con, con Qatar? Yes, no? yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Uh, that was a good game, actually. <laughs> I don't know. El Salvador too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was a good game, actually. I was surprised. <laughs> I went to visit my aunt to Metapan. I spent time with my grandma. I also helped cleaning the house. And I went grocery shopping. I made, I made tamales. I know how to make them with my colleagues. And I shared. They were really good. But they are not healthy. <laughs> they make me more heavy. And I shared them with some friends and relatives. So it was a busy weekend, but it was really good. Okay, let me see. Which are the verbs that are in past? And what can you see? Which are regular and which are irregular? Which are the verbs? Can someone help me? Watch it. Watch. Watch. Mm -hmm. Watch. And it's regular. When. Is. When. When. Irregular. Uh, irregular. 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 Mm -hmm. When. When. Spend. Irregular. Mm -hmm. okay. Expand. Regular. Is it regular Help. or regular? Regular. Help. Regular. Mm -hmm. Help. Yeah, and when, 
Mm-hmm. What about made? Irregular. Irregular. Irregular verb. Yeah. And shared is? Regular. Regular. Perfect. Good. Good job. Now we are going to continue with the next one. And we are going to make a little review about, well, about the pronunciation ending ED sounds. Do you remember that I said that some sounds like t and sounds like d and uh, the other ones like it? Do you remember that? Yeah. More or less? Okay. So we have, when we say talked, at the end, the ED sounds like a T. And the other, do, do, do. Mm -hmm. is different sound because when it ends in K, these are called and voice sound. The K is you cannot feel anything here, and the it is like and voice. And voice means that you cannot like uh, feel anything on your throat. Cuando las uh, Cuando terminan en una letra que no tiene sonido como vibrante en la garganta, mm -hmm. entonces eso van con el final de T. Como por ejemplo los que terminan en T, e, en, oh, en sí, sí. TH, F, sí. que es F, P, S, and this is um, S, H, but it's not S, H, E, just S, H. And the like thing, think, mm -hmm. th. So those are gonna sound like t at the end. And then we have the sounds at the end with d, like smell, whisper. Mm -hmm. Those ones are voice sound because if you make the the sounds of the L, si hacen el sonido de la L, sienten como vibración en la garganta. Y lo mismo con la R. Se siente aquí. Entonces, esos son voice sounds. Mm. Tienen un sonido vibrante. Y estas no tienen. Pero, with a, like that also you learn it with practice. Eso se aprende con la práctica también. This is the theory but the practice is what it makes you better at. So this has a T sound and this has a D sound. The easiest ones are these ones, the id, like smelled, whispered. Oh, no, that's not whispered, actually. I wanna change it, because that's whispered d, with d. I wanna, um, I wanna, this one, it didn't change the, it didn't change the verbs. Esta, did. That one ends on D. The, the other one didn't. Like when it ends on D, then it's started. And with, when it ends on, on T. A verb help me because I cannot for some reason I cannot think of a verb now. A worry. verb that ends with T worried. Um no, because that's not with T. Think about another verb. I want to write found someone. Ah this one. This one ends with. Is started. Start is started. That ends with T. So, yeah, that's an example. So, the verse that ends in T or D, that's our, those are going to sound like ED, like ED. Los verbos que terminan en T o en D, como por ejemplo, studied. 
termina en D porque esta se convierte en una I. Y started. Esos suenan como ED, started. So those are the rules. That's why I was telling you about the boy, uh, the sounds of the letters, because you need to know the sounds of the letters. Okay. Any questions? Yeah. No. Okay. Okay. Those are the rules. Esas son las reglas sobre eso, sobre los sonidos. Okay. I'm going to go to the next. So we're going to start with the topic that we were going to. Okay. okay. Types. Okay, yeah. Talked. Repeat Talks. after me. Talked. Typed. Mm -hmm. Smelled. Smelled. Whispered. 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 Studied. 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 Started. Started. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yeah, those are the easiest ones. Good. Okay, now we're going to go and we're going to continue with the pass of the verb to be that you already know, okay? In Princeton, we have a and is. So the pass is, todos, everybody, was. 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 Uh huh. Present a uh, and is past was. Is plus is was. Uh huh. So is that singular or or plural? Is singular or plural? Singular. Singular. And this present, the present of the verb to be, is are. Are. And the past are, are where, where. Mm -hmm. so that means that this is plural and this uh, this is singular and this is plural past uh -huh. and it is in past yeah este es en singular presente y pasado y este es en plural presente y pasado Perfect. Okay. Very good one. I can go to the next one. Okay. Was, where? Was, where? Was, where? Mm -hmm. Was, where? Good. Okay. I'm going to go to the next one. Now you are going to help me. Ready? You're going to help me. Are you ready for helping me? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. Okay. We're going to do the same. I know you already know the subjects, but you have to remind me. Which is the subject? Which are the subjects? I. I. He. I. You. Say you. We. What about he? She, 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 it, she, 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 Mm -hmm. Um, no fishes. Um, and for you, what we use? R. 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 And she, he, she, it? Is. Is. 
we uh, what do we uh, use uh, are you what about are. you are you are uh, you and, and they are they are. are they are now which is gonna be the past was was mm -hmm. for i is gonna be was was what about was. for you where where uh-huh where what about for he she and it was was why is us was, was. <laughs> why exactly it's singular what about for we you and they what are we going to use i'm going to write just one where where we to where where mm -hmm. that's where. where good job okay you did it you know you did it by yourself okay we're gonna move to the next one ready and i have to erase all of these do you know if there is a way that I can keep it and move to the next slide? ¿Sabe si hay alguna forma que puedo dejarlo y moverme a la siguiente? Porque si me muevo y no lo borro, este, aparece en la siguiente, ¿no saben? That someone knows. That is a... No? A no. way to do it? Okay, that's fine then. Okay, now we're going to... To do negative. Es que creo que, perdone, perdone, creo que tiene que hacer los cambios desde la, donde está la pantalla donde puede modificar. No, porque si los hace desde aquí es porque lo está haciendo sobre toda la sobre toda la presentación. Mm, ajá. En el modo de edición. Ajá. Creería Voy yo a... que sí. Voy a probar después, ajá, pero gracias, a, porque así no sé, yo estaba viendo y dije, bueno, no sé cómo hacer para que no se mueva de una a la otra. En visión, después voy a probar cuando terminemos la clase con alguien más. Gracias. Si no podemos probar. Uh -huh. Sí, gracias. Ok. Now we have the pass of B in the affirmative form. You are going to help me because you already know. So we have, what do we call these? This I, what do we call? What it is? Pronoun. It is the verb, it is the subject. The subject. Ah. The subject. Subject. Yes. Verb to be in to be present. Plus complement. Plus complement. In past. I'm going to move it. Okay. And then we have, what else do we have? Complement. Complement. Perfect. Okay, plus complement. And what what else do I need there? Do I need a period, a comma, semicolon? Necesito un punto. Okay, Point. good. Good. So, and what did I use? Can you help me reading, please? I I was, was was born in El Salvador. In El Salvador. Okay, next one. They, they, they were, were, were champion. champion. Mm -hmm. Good. So champion. I use the verb to be in past. Easy peasy. Okay. Any questions about that? Can I move to the next one? Ready for the next one? 
¿Listo por la siguiente? Perfect. Okay. I wanna go to the next one. I wanna leave it there, then I can see the difference between one and the other. Okay. I left it there because this, this works for this one. Okay. In here, I have a subject. But is, this is the past of the verb to be in which form? The negative complement. form. Negative form. So I have the subject, verb to be in past. And what else do I need to Plus. add? ¿Qué más? Must complement. Uh -huh. Pero si es negativo, but if it is negative, what do I have to add? Plus? Negative form. Uh -huh. The negative form. But it doesn't let me. Okay, I'm going to erase it. Uh, let me see. I want to erase it. Okay. They don't let me uh, draw, have a text there. Okay, I'm gonna do it again. So I wanna write just S for subject. Voy a escribir una S para sujeto. Plus, verb to be, in past, plus what? ¿Qué más me falta ahí? Negative. Negative. Uh -huh. Which is the no. negative no. word that we say? Plus, not. not. Mm -hmm. Plus, complement. Now we can do the complement. Complement. And the period at the end. Okay, so help me. I, I wasn't, wasn't born. Born in El Salvador. In El Salvador. Ay, quiero escuchar todo repitiendo porque si solo escuchan no van a poder desenrollar la lengua. Listos. I. 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 I was. I was. Born. Was. Born. In El Salvador. Good job. Now with the, the next one. They, they, they weren't weren't champions. 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 Mm -hmm. They, they weren't champions. Champions. They weren't champions. Do you see the difference? Here I added, which letter did I add? The letter? Champion. S. S. That's why it make it, I have they, and I have uh, the plural, and then the plural. Yeah. So, the When we make a sentence, it has to match. Everything has to match. Cuando hacemos una oración, tiene que combinar todo. Tengo plural, plural y plural. That's why I'm using the and word. Okay. And as you know, the contracted form is was not, wasn't. Was Were not, weren't. Weren't. Mm -hmm. And this is like, es como que le quitemos la O. Yo siempre lo, lo, lo veía como en vez de la O le ponemos el apóstrofe. Es fácil. Y unimos las dos palabras. Was not. Porque en veces nos cuesta como ¿Y qué va? ¿Qué le quito? ¿Qué le pongo? In case that you have that. That's a way that I learned and that I knew how to do it when I was learning it. Okay, good. Going to the next one. Ready? Preguntas? Uh, no? Tienen preguntas o puedo seguir a la siguiente? Puedo pasar a la siguiente. Can I go to the next one? Yes? Thanks, so. 
Okay. I'm going to go to the next one. So now we have questions and short answers. Tenemos preguntas y respuestas cortas. For example, for example, what can you see? Let me tell me what you see, which is the difference between the negative, the negative, the affirmative, and the questions. ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre las afirmativas, las negativas y la pregunta? ¿Qué cambia? The position, the position of the verb, the verb to be. Exactly, the position of the verb to be in past. We have first the verb to be. Was I? Like, maybe. <laughs> okay, so this is the verb to be, subject and complement. And we don't have to forget the question mark. And here, were they? Really? Okay, so this is the position. So when we're making questions, we just have to change the position. Okay. Uh, you can turn off your microphone, but I want you to see repeating. Okay. Quiero verlo repitiendo, pero solo quiero ver que muevan la boca porque en veces se, se escucha mucho ruido. Okay. Ready? Was I born in El Salvador? Okay, good job. I see some people doing it. Were they champions? Were they champions? Okay, then we have the answers. I just did it for the last one. Yes, they were. That's the short form. Everybody? Yes, they were. And then the negative form in the short way, it says no. They were not. Or we can do it in the contracted form. No, they weren't. And if we do a really long, well, not a really long, a complete answer it is, that is a long answer, it, what it would be? Yes, they were champions. No, they were not champions. Or, or it could be, no, they weren't champions champions okay so this, these are the ways for doing it in negative and affirmative in a short way what about if i ask was i born in el salvador how would you answer in an affirmative way como uh, me responderían en una forma afirmativa which is gonna be the subject that i have to use for answering. ¿Cuál sería el sujeto que usaría? Si yo les pregunto, was I born in El Salvador? ¿Qué me respondería? Si les digo que me respondan de una forma afirmativa. Yes. Yes, I was. Yes, I was born in El Salvador. Yes, But remember, I was born in El Salvador. Yes, you were. Yes, you were born. Mm -hmm. Porque les estoy Because preguntando a ustedes si yo nací en El Salvador. Entonces ustedes yes. tendrían que, si sí, tú naciste en El Salvador, porque me le están haciendo afirmativa. Entonces es, yes, you, you, were, were. you were born in El Salvador. O yes, you were, en la forma corta. ¿Cómo sería la forma negativa? How it would be in the negative form, in the short way and the long way. No. I'm asking you again. Was no, I? I no, no, you, you weren't. weren't. No, you weren't. Mm -hmm. no, you weren't. In El Salvador. Exactly. Yeah. It depends on who answers. Is it like how you are going to have, which subject you are going to have. Perfect. Good. Thumbs up if you are fine with that. You know the affirmative, the negative, and the questions. Or you can ask 
if you have any questions. It's time for asking. Oh, you are fine with that? Okay. So now you have to ask your classmates. But we're going to do with was and where. So we have the structure. Tenemos la estructura. Vamos a hacer preguntas a nuestros compañeros con was y where. Y vamos a tomar turnos. Yo le pregunto a mi compañero y ellos me responden. Y después es mi turno. Pueden, you can make different questions in. You can make a conversation. You can choose um, some questions and make a conversation with your classmates. Using what? What are you going to use? Yeah. To be... ¿Qué vamos a usar para hacer las preguntas? Eh, sentes, sentences afirmative, negative, and question. Uh -huh. Yeah. Pass. We can ask and we can have a conversation when we ask and when we answer. ¿Para usar qué? Vamos a usar was y where. Where? Pero también, uh -huh. But you can use also other um, questions if you want. Pueden hacer otras uh, preguntas en pasado. Doesn't, um, we are practicing what and where, but if you have like something else to ask and you don't need to use a specific those ones, if you have a conversation. Okay. Any questions? ¿Alguna pregunta? Teacher, el verbo cambia si yo lo uso con was y were. No, Por ejemplo, verbo... uh -huh. si yo digo where they work yesterday o work. Where did they work? Where they worked yesterday. No, the verb doesn't, no, el verbo no cambia. Se mantiene en su forma uh -huh. base. Porque okay, está usando, that's... pero ahí where es where, like, eh, de dónde. No está, no está usando el verbo to be. No está bien porque pronunciado. Está... No, uh, porque si hacemos where did you go yesterday? Or where did you work yesterday? Está usando el did. Si ya usó el did, no puede usar where, porque esta no estaría... They, no, they, they, de ellos. Where they, where they work yesterday. Entonces sería where did they work, work, norm, normal en la forma base, work yesterday. Pero no puede, oh, well. tiene que usar where, pero del where de dónde, no del verbo to be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gracias. You're welcome. So someone else has a question? Yeah, we don't have, sometimes we tend to do it because it's something new for us or um, we get a little bit mixed up. Nos confundimos un poquito. Pero si usamos el verbo auxiliar did, no vamos a usar where. Where de, del verbo to be. Porque estaríamos poniendo dos verbos. En pasado. Solo sería de usar did o where. Okay. Ready? Any questions? I see the faces like. Mm. Yeah, I I kind of know. I kind of mm, I don't have an idea what the teacher is asking. Alguien más que me diga qué vamos a hacer? Esmeralda, ask and answer question using the verb to be in past. Mhm. Mm Thank you, Eugenia. Esmeralda, 
Do you have a, a question? Tiene una pregunta? No? No puedo escucharle, su micrófono está apagado. Your mic is off. No. Okay, okay. good. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Según afirmativas, negativas. Y pueden del... usar. Uh -huh. Pueden usar afirmativas, negativas y preguntas. Uh -huh. Okay, ready? I want to send you again to the breakout rooms, but I think I'm going to make them again recreate. We're at 20, so we need just 10. I need glasses. Okay, see you in um, seven minutes. Paddle, you don't have a group? No, teacher. Actually, yes, you are with Edgardo, but I think you didn't click on join. No le aparece para unirse, donde dice join. No. Okay. Voy a, voy a tratar de... Moverlo al. Quiero ver, quiero ver. Al 10 lo voy a mover. A ver si ahora. ¿Ve ahora? Nada. Ay, qué raro que no le, que no le sale. Okay. Esa sería la respuesta. Ay, Corta. Yes, sí. Yes. Y no hay guas. Yes, hay guas y no hay guas. Guasen. La forma negativa sería no. No hay guasen. O guas. Guas no. Eh, forma larga. Uh -huh. I was. No. 
Uh-huh. Like what? The long word it would it would be like, called awesome. like. Yes, I was in the park yesterday. Like. Mm hmm. An example. <laughs> okay. Thank you for practicing. <laughs> Class. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. <laughs> and Edwin. Ricitos de oro. <laughs> Hace de ricitos de oro. <laughs> yes. Hey, Teo. Were you in the English class last week? Yes, I was. Uh -huh. I was happy. Okay. Y... Uh -huh. Did you work yesterday? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, that should... Es en pasado, pero le, con el verbo auxiliar, did. Did you work yesterday? Y digamos, si ella bailó la semana pasada, sería did you dancing last weekend? Did you dance? El verbo va normal, yeah. porque uh -huh. sí. Uh -huh. Porque está usando el did, ya va en pasado. Did you dance last weekend? Uh -huh. Yes, I did. <laughs> For example. <laughs> yeah, or no, I didn't. <laughs> That's nice. Do you like to dance? I, um, two years ago, I mm -hmm. take uh, sales classes. <laughs> Salsa classes, I took, porque es pasado. Ah, sí, yes, es presente. Took, Ajá. Es cierto. I took dance classes, but for Ajá. pandemic, Ay, I yeah, left. Sí. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's so cool. I'm not good at dancing. Wow. I prefer. ¿Y tú, Dora? No. No good. <laughs> And I'm good at dancing. I'm good at dancing. Because, <laughs> ¿cómo se dice? No puedo bailar. I can't. I can't. I can't. Uh, see, I can, I can dance. I <laughs> not can. No, I can. And or I cannot. I cannot. I can No, I, I, I cannot. Can, I cannot. Dance. Dance. Good. <laughs> Did you do? Did you try? Try it. What is try? No, it? did you try? Si lo intentó. Uh -huh. Si lo intentaste. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, pero ay no. Si lo intenté salir. It wasn't easy. Okay, good. What, okay, what kind of music, music did you dance? How's everything going? Good, and that's a good. Teacher, <laughs> I have some questions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go ahead, Jesus Antonio. Was I playing soccer last weekend? Mm -hmm. uh, where? I... Um, but... Were you swimming on Sunday? Were you swimming on Sunday? Mm -hmm. yeah. Was I cooking in the lunch? Was I cooking lunch? Okay. Mm -hmm. Cooking lunch. Were you dancing in the party of last Saturday? Were you da dancing at the party? At the party. At the party. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
That's past progressive. Ese es el pasado progresivo que le está preguntando cosas en el... Like, were you dancing last weekend? Mm -hmm. Okay. Entonces, mm -hmm. por eso se utiliza at en vez de in. Okay. Es, es una prepo it is a preposition like sometimes we say it in like it's exactly how we say it in Spanish but it's at the party en el baile but if we said in it's like uh, you were inside in is more for something that is a preposition that we use for inside like in something like in a box mm, okay mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, was he talking with his lawyer on Wednesday? Mm -hmm. uh, were they say sí, this I mean at the theater? Mm -hmm. Okay. Were they at the theater? Good. Good job. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye bye. Didn't forget the microphone this time. Okay. Is everybody in the meeting? Did everybody came back? Good. Okay. So how was the conversation and the quest questions and answers? ¿Cómo, estuvie, ¿Cómo estuvo la conversación y las preguntas y respuestas? It was nice. So, so. Okay. So, so. It was nice, not too nice. <laughs> Did you get distracted? Se distrajeron mucho. Okay. Okay, so. Um, any questions? Or uh, about the platform or something? Are you working hard? So it's my job to remind you too hard, to work really hard. Lo siento si les recuerdo mucho, pero tenemos que trabajar en la plataforma. Así que trabajen no y trabajen. Work I just work. waiting to do the, my final exam. Wow, that's yes, nice. Is the last one thing to do. <laughs> good, good. Yeah, you want to graduate right away. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Thank you. Congratulations. Teacher, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Yes, Jorge? Uh, me, Jorge. I have a question. Uh, Tell me. Recordarles, dice que yo revisando el, el diploma, cuando ahí me aparecía, me aparece igual que el compañero. Con la fecha de 2019. Okay, yeah, I let them know. Ya les uh, comuniqué y creo que están trabajando en eso, pero I'm going to tell them again. Les voy a decir nuevamente. Because I think okay. it's a problem of the system or something. I don't know why that is happening. Yeah. It's a problem. Thanks. Thank you. Okay. Everyone, Thanks for being, you're welcome. Thank you for being in the meeting and have a good night. See you tomorrow and work hard. Have a good day tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. See you. Bye-bye. Have a good night. Bye.